domestic violence destroys lives. It crushes and it hurts. It's no respecter of country, class or community. I'm Heather from United Society known as US. In May 2014, I travelled to Zambia to visit just one of those communities facing domestic violence, to hear stories of those who've been through it and to meet those determined to see it end. So, I was so, Idingine, Narenda Fiedionse, Ua Puma, a means why I have him, but Pamela Duak Puma. Thankfully, the Agape Women's Group stepped in. It's supported by the Zambian Anglican Council and has been funded by us since 2012. A group member took Agnes to the hospital. She was in for three days. But just a week after she left, her husband beat her very badly again. Agape intervened, and due to the presence of hospital records, Agnes's husband was told he would be arrested and charged if he beat her again, and finally the beatings have stopped. <laughs> This is Mary Katebi. She got married in 1988. But in 1998, her husband started beating her, battering her at will. When she came to Agape for help, Agape went to the husband and tried to counsel them both. But he just left her with six children to support. <laughs> Currently, Agape has helped her to start a small business at the market, so now she's able to support herself and her children. Just two stories, and there are many more. But while the past is painful for them, many women supported by Agape harbour hopes for a better future. Every person helped is a life transformed. But there's so much more to do, and we need your help to do it. Please make a donation so we can help the Agape Women's Group reach out to many more women who are facing violence. Through our Friendship Bracelet Appeal, we're also inviting you to send a sign of your concern to a woman in Zambia. Take one bracelet to wear as a reminder of your commitment to pray, and send a second bracelet to a woman in Zambia with a message of hope. Your message will be a reminder to her that she is not alone. <laughs>